Hi, uh, Eric Salahub here, one of your instructors, and I'm going to take a few minutes to walk through the syllabus. Uh, you should certainly read it carefully as you compose your syllabus agreement essay for week one, uh, but I'm going to walk through and, and do a few highlights of some uh, especially important parts of the syllabus. Um, up here at the top, uh, instructor information, Shauna and I are both at the Larimer campus, but we have voicemail and email. Um, and of course we can be reached um, by anyone no matter where you are. If you do end up on the Larimer campus you can come by our office. Um, some information about the textbook, everything's provided online for free. Uh, so there will be readings each week both for composition and ethics generally each week. Um, and you'll find all of that stuff in the course content area of the D2L course. Um, some stuff here about learning communities um, why we're doing them and some of the research behind them. So take a look at that. Um, course descriptions, these are from the course catalog and they just give you a general idea of, of what we're going to be doing in both the composition and the ethics courses. Um, how the class will work, unlike a lecture class where it may be acceptable just to sit in the back and keep quiet, you know, this class is not going to work that way. Online classes, interactive online classes such as this one, really demand your ongoing participation. For the class to be successful and for you to be successful, I mean, that's really just a, a minimum urgent requirement. So um, please uh, expect to log in and be an active participant in the class on at least three different days per week. And this is a minimum expectation. You know, many students are logging in four days a week, five days a week. It's not required, but three days, three different days um, is the minimum expectation. Um, since this is really six credits, um, you should really be expecting to spend 15 or more hours per week working on this class. You know, and that would really account for the six hours we would be sitting in class if this were an in-class course, plus all the time reading, studying, etc. Um, some people may take more time than that. Some people may take a little bit less time than that. But I, I do think that is a, a realistic idea of how much work you can expect to do in this class. Um, please don't fall behind. Um, you will not succeed if you fall behind behind and you know it's really imperative especially at the beginning of the course to stay up to speed um, if you feel like you're going to fall behind or you feel like you're starting to fall behind do not hesitate to contact um, myself or Shauna um, Im immediately so we can intervene and, and figure out what we can do um, take the reading assignment seriously you know there's not a ton of reading for the class um, but reading philosophy ethics um, can be difficult. So, you know, give yourself enough time to do the reading. You'll often have to reread multiple times to get a handle on what's going on. Um, and even then, you may still not understand everything. After all, that's why you're in class with us. The basic way you're going to be evaluated is outlined here. There will be four papers throughout the course of the semester, and those account for 45% of, of your grade. Um, you know, you'll get extensive details on how you'll be graded, uh, grading rubrics, and such, so just expect that. There'll be about 12 quizzes, some ethics quizzes, some composition quizzes. Um, ethics quizzes um, tend to fall on Tuesdays. I think they'll, they're all on Tuesdays. And the English quizzes um, typically fall on Saturdays. So you'll definitely want to read the assignment details each week, note when the quizzes are due, and make sure you take them on time. Uh, quizzes are worth 10% of your grade. Um, blog assignments, these are really kind of short informal essay assignments that you'll post to a dedicated place on the discussion boards, which you'll see um, as soon as you go to the discussions. Um, there'll be about 30 during the semester, two per week generally, and you know these are usually, um, I don't know, 200 to 300 word, uh, again short, I'll say informal essays, that doesn't mean they're anything goes. Um, but they're usually things if you sat down and worked you could finish in a half an hour or so. Um, and that's really a way to think ahead about our discussion, to uh, have a chance to follow up and practice some of the, the writing um, competencies and such. And um, we will be doing lots of interactive discussion in the course, so please take time to you know read this uh, little section here on how our discussions will work. Um, as far as I'm concerned, discussions are really the heart of the class. I mean, that is what makes this class interactive. That's where you'll get to know me. That's where you'll get to know Shauna. Um, it's where we both feel like we do most of our teaching. You know, we've done, we've written the content for the class. You know, we certainly do grading and, and we comment on your work. But discussions are really the time when we can interact. And that's really what makes the class enjoyable. So 
please take the discussions seriously. Um, there will be a midterm and a final exam, each worth 5% of the grade, and I'll just throw out a little tidbit now. There is a way that you can avoid taking the midterm and the final. In fact, you can get 100% on the midterm and the final without taking them, and I'll tell you how that'll work in just a minute. We run a normal grading scale, 90, 80, 70, um, and we're really hoping most students are shooting for you know, A's and B's. That's generally what students are shooting for in college classes. We want to help you Get the grade you want um, if you're willing to, to do the work. I mean, certainly we can't make any guarantees, but you know, think about the grade you want and how you want to get there over the course of the semester. So a little bit about this uh, possibility of skipping the midterm and the final. Um, it makes a little bit weird to talk about attendance in an online class since there are no required course meetings, um, but we do want you to attend regularly. That means logging in and being an active participant in the course on at least three different days per week. Um, let's consider three different days per week of active engagement to be perfect attendance. So if you had a week where you only participated on two days per week, that would be considered one absence. If there was a, a week where you only participated once, that would be considered two absences. So if you participate consistently in discussion uh, throughout the course of the semester, uh, you can earn an incentive. So between the beginning of the course and the midterm, which will be around week eight, if you have two or fewer absences, you do not have to take the midterm and you get full credit for it, 100%, which really means throughout the first eight weeks, if you log in and actively participate on three different days per week, every week that would be perfect attendance. You get two freebies, um, you know, two weeks where you can participate, you know, less, um, and still get the incentive. If you miss more than that, then you have to take the midterm. After the midterm, we reset attendance and run the incentive again. Um, so if you are an active participant and don't have more than two quote-unquote absences, the second half of the semester you can skip the final. Uh, please take the time to read the section of the syllabus. It's a little bit difficult to understand. Um, I think once you read it a few times, you, you'll figure out what we're talking about. But please follow up with email um, to Sean and I if you, if you have questions about it. And we'll, we'll have more to say about this. The bottom line is just attend. Uh, as an active participant on at least three different days per week throughout the semester. Um, those are the minimum expectations anyway, and you can earn this really great incentive. Um, we've got an outline here. We probably won't change it significantly, but please, you know, we may have to change things based on things that happen during the semester. Um, we'll always post those changes to the news um, area and other places, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, all work must be your own. You know, we will talk more in this class about plagiarism. So just think about making sure your work is your own. Um, you can certainly work together well, with your colleagues or classmates, um, but make sure the work you do is your own. Uh, please save all your work until the end of the semester when you get your grade in case there's a grade dispute. Um, you know, everything should be in D2L, but just in case, you know, make sure you keep everything. Um, students with disabilities or um, you know, learning disabilities are encouraged to contact the Office of Special Services if you need extended testing time or other accommodations. Um, and we've got the phone numbers here. Uh, the last day to drop the class is September 7th if you want to get a refund. And if you decide you want to withdraw from the class, just make sure to remember this November 21st date. Um, what follows is a rough outline that we're going to cover in the course over the next uh, 15 weeks or so through December. I'm at nine minutes. I wanted to keep this under 10 minutes, so I will end now. Um, I'll just end by saying, you know, from Sean and I, um, you know, welcome to class. Uh, we're really looking forward to a great semester. Thanks.